Okay, right. Dark horses, whoever's got the um, shortest odds can start um, because my guy's 125 to one. What's yours? I'm 250. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Sam and I were driving down here. It took us five hours to get here today. We we had the I had all the all the heat sheets on my you know, on my lap, and we were talking. He said, "Look up this guy for me because this guy's coming in hot this week. What's his odds, Dad?" And I said, "Well, he's 250 to one." And he said, "Well, what what does his strokes gain off the tee? 112, but he hits it a mile. Okay, so he's losing some strokes there. What is he on on approach? Top 10, eighth. Oh, that's interesting. What about what about around the green? 151. Oh, I can't chip very good. Okay. What is he in putting? 11th. So he's eighth in eighth in approach, 11th in putting, 18th overall on the PGA Tour in strokes gain. Meaning that if you're just tuning in for the first time, thinking about strokes gain, he gain every time he plays golf, he's better than every other player on the PGA Tour. He gains strokes for them. I'm talking about <laughs> Seth Stracker. Wow, okay. 251, 250 to one. I'm talking about John O'Donnell was on our podcast, said, I think a journeyman or a person of out of the blue could play well in the tournament. I'm going with Seth Stracker as that guy come in at 250 to one. His around the green stats are not great because he doesn't miss a green by the sounds of it. He's eight. And well, that, that, that's, that's, that's where I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Yes. Okay. We talked at the show, we, we need three elite categories okay. uh, in strokes gain, I think, to win a U.S. Open. Okay. Because if I couldn't, if I could justify that by saying there's plenty of guys with three of them. So how does a guy with two of them jump all the threes? Mm-hmm. 